what is going on everybody Ooh, thursday april 18th 2024 it's seven o'clock all right so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go to port canaveral now usually when i go a couple days or a couple trips and just the fishing isn't that well or i'm getting skunked or whatnot port canaveral is usually my go-to area just to get some fishing action so that's what we're gonna do today because I haven't seen, I haven't been able to seem to get on the fish as of late. So we're gonna head over there and this time I'm thinking about actually heading out to the jetties. So maybe we'll pick up two dozen live shrimp and if that doesn't do anything, we'll go with some jigs, we'll, we'll wing it. But that's the plan today. We'll go out there for about three, four hours, just hang out supposed to be an absolutely beautiful day that's why i was hoping to already be on the water so so the last time we went down to port canaveral uh, the fishing was a little bit slow but we got on to some monster ladyfish with some light tackle which was a lot of fun i mean i i brought my light my light pole so we can do that again but i'm a little hesitant my last video where I was catching ladyfish and stuff like that, so those were two videos that I actually ended up getting a bunch of down thumbs and uh, some unfollowers from it. Look, I get it's just bait fish, everybody, but for those guys that need to see people catching slobs or certain species every time, yeah, that's cool, but fishing is, is different for you than it is for me. It's not about catching the biggest and best, catching something with the bonus. I can have fun with light tackle, catching ladyfish all day long and have an, an amazing day. Unless you're a commercial fisherman, then I, yeah, I get it, I understand, but come on guys, you know, it's, it's supposed to be fish, it's supposed to be fun. Anyway, so yeah, you know, maybe, you know, if, even if we just get on the ladyfish today, I'll, I'll probably still post it, you know what I mean? Haters gonna hate. You know, they see a guy having fun just catching some monster ladyfish on some light tackle. And uh, they got to, you know, you know how people are. They got to, oh shoot, someone's having fun. Someone's someone's having a good time. I got to bring them down. You know, it's just how it rolls. But that's also how you know that you're doing good. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that. So maybe we'll, hopefully we get onto something besides ladyfish so I can please the audience. No, I'm just playing. We're gonna have fun and we're gonna catch what we have, whatever we catch. And that's usually how I roll. So anyway, everybody, I'll catch you at the boat ramp. I'd be lying if I said that when I woke up this morning, my trailer lights still weren't working. I was that tempted just to get back in bed. Yeah, so we got out here. It looks like the left side of the jetties. I've not actually fished that area yet, but as always, it's packed with boats, and you know, I usually avoid the crowds. So we're gonna try on the right side, kind of near where the jetty park is. See if we can't hook up on some stuff with some live shrimp. If it just isn't happening there for like an hour, maybe we'll go try the other side. But uh, we'll see what we needed to. Like I said, I was gonna stay home, so anything's a win from this point. Not super fact, but you can see all the boats over there. 
kind of jetty's not too fast. Ooh, look at these swells. Well, very well, yeah. Ooh, the swells. I don't know why, but this keeps making me want to get my surfboard out. The beach is probably good right now. All right, well, got some pretty decent swells going through here right now. So it's going to be a rocking and a rolling type of a, a morning it's, I mean there's no wind it's supposed to be super calm it's just the swell so I brought top waters but I don't know well put in about an hour one bite everybody's moving around that other spot's almost there are only two boats there now so the bite's kind of slow right now but i was reading some reports yesterday that it picked up at low tide which is kind of strange but no wind well a little breeze but the swells pretty good it would have been a really good day to go surfing oh what a beautiful day What a beautiful day. Catch something that's a bonus, for sure. Like I said, we're only gonna give it maybe four hours, maybe five if the bite picks up, just cause I wanna go fix up the trailer. That way, if we wanna do some early morning fishing. Cause as it starts warming up here in Florida, really your only option sometimes with the heat is morning fishing. So, one of these days I'm gonna get myself on a boat and get out there you know there's so much fish and fishing that i have yet to explore that i watch all the time you know those guys catching mahis and snapper and cobia i mean that's gonna be a lot of fun if we don't get anything on the shrimp here soon i'm debating on whether to throw my my gotcha plug just to see how that goes Not even marking a lot right now, but I have a feeling with this tide change, the fish are gonna move wherever they're at. You know what they say is when it's low tide and it's stagnant like that, you know, the fish are gonna look for that moving water. So this, the port right here, is gonna be, I think that the bite's gonna turn on here in about five seconds. All right, well, maybe a little longer, I'm not sure. All right, stay tuned. Hopefully we get a little nibble nibble. Here, I'll show you the, look at that coastline. You got Jetty Park here, you know, Port Canaveral, Jetty Park, Cape Canaveral. This is all, I like to surf fish right along here. And if you look real far out there, there's a pier and that is Cocoa Beach. Not, not a lot of people on the beach today. Well, then again, it is a, a weekday, Thursday. What is that thing floating? That is a creepy looking thing. Got jellyfish or something. Well, we beat the skunk. <laughs> it's probably the smallest little sail catch catfish I've ever seen. Cutie pie. 
Oi, oi, oi. All right, let's try again. All right, I think I'm gonna make the trek and paddle to the other side, to where the rocks are, because we ain't getting nothing over here. Ooh, these are doozies. I think I probably spent too long here anyway, so. Let's get through these big monster waves here and then we'll do the trek across. Ooh. The waves keep on crashing on me for some reason. do it for today I was a little down on myself like I said I've been fishing for probably about five hours now longer than I thought this little catfish and all the guys were just hooking up all around me and I was doing the same thing they were so just one of those things I guess but on my way back I did get that sheep set so that's a win but yeah I mean one of these days I'll I'll have one of those really epic fishing days but there was a school of bluefish and jacks. It was probably like 50 plus that came in and I just couldn't keep up with them. The boats took off after them. And then uh, there was probably a good 25, a school of 25 redfish sitting in there. Watched a couple guys hook up with some bull reds, but I couldn't get done. So here's what it is. Fished a lot longer than I should have. 
I was just trying really hard to get on the fish. Everybody around me was. I've got. I've grown ten times better, and I've, I, I'm able to get on the fish a lot more than I, I was previously. So if I just keep at it, you know. So instead of comparing myself to you know these people that are professionals, you know, you, I'm going to look at it as more of like a goal. You know, like that's what I strive to be. I mean, that would be awesome to get paid to take people out fishing and do that kind of stuff or be sponsored by, you know, some type of, uh, you know, fishing equipment or something like that. So at least we beat the skunk. So in, in uh, all in all today, though, what a beautiful day, beautiful start today. You couldn't ask for better weather. Um, Towards the end there, I did go to the other side of the jetties uh, where usually most of the guides are. Once it kind of died down, there's only a couple boats. Shout out to Real Finesse uh, Charters. He does guide service out there. They were real cool, real friendly. Gave me a couple tips, some nice guys. So if you're ever looking for a, you know, a guide out here in Port Canaveral especially that knows how to get on some fish, because I watched him hook up with a big old bull red um, yeah, check him out. Real Finesse Charters, or Real Finesse Fishing, one of the two. I can't remember. I'll see if I can put in an edit. But anyway, everybody, like I said, really good day. And then while we're sitting there, a couple more guide got a guide service with some, some charters showed up. And then a huge school of jacks came through with a bunch of bluefish right behind them. Like you could see a cloud in the water. There were so many of them. And um, they, by the time they went under me and past me, I was already getting my other rod with my uh, gotcha lure, the, my little plug. I was gonna work that and I know they would have hit that. But by the time I got it out unhooked, they were already heading out. So then I tried chasing them, but then so did the two guide boats. And um, I just, I couldn't keep up with my legs and maneuver in between three, you know, boats. Probably shouldn't anyway with a kayak. So I ended up, you know, breaking off and not, not pursuing them and, and then just trying to take advantage of having that spot to myself for a little bit. And again, I was fishing everything that they were fishing and I could not get a bite for nothing. But there was a group of redfish sitting right there. And I mean, guys were hooking up one guy showed up then he plopped right on these guys where they said the redfish was and he caught a slot snook right there right in front of me using the same thing i was live shrimp so there's fish to be had just wasn't my day and once i felt pretty discouraged and was ready to head head back to the the boat ramp i um figured i'd fish the rocks outside the boat ramp and see if i could do any good and i did catch a a, um, a sheep's head just shy of a keeping size but uh, still beat the skunk because I wasn't counting those I got I caught like three little sail cats like this big I wasn't counting those so at least we got the sheep's head got more practice in and we're getting better so apologies that the, the video is not jam-packed I think it probably is gonna end up being me more talking than catching fish but we're getting there so I appreciate all the support for all of you all that are watching me now you know I'll get there it's all a learning process so I'll catch you guys in the next one I gotta get home I gotta clean all this stuff I gotta get this video ready to go and then plan for the next day so tight lines everybody I'll catch you in the next one Peace.